Well, hi there, this is Scott Duffy, and I got a brand new piece of audio equipment today, and so I wanted to test it out, and I'm doing this by recording a video. I get this question from time to time, is this course enough to pass the exam? Now, I'm recording this video quite generically for any course and any exam. Now, maybe you're going to be surprised by the answer, but hopefully you won't be. The answer, of course, is no. No, this course by itself, sitting back in your chair and just letting the video play is not going to be enough for you to pass the test. And that's okay. Microsoft doesn't want you to just be able to pass this test through only watching a video. This is my expectation of what your study is going to look like. So we have this video course. As you go through the course, section by section, you're going to log into your Azure portal. You're going to create you're going to create resources. You're going to play around with it. You're going to encounter problems. That's going to lead you to the Microsoft documentation to look up the solution. Once you figure that out, try it again to a point where you get to a level of comfort. And you're just going to do that. Watch my course, get some practice, look at the documentation. Finally, you're going to get to a point where you're actually gone through all of the material and maybe you're ready for a practice test. And so if you can get a practice test, you take it and then you get a level of comfort with that and you're able to take the real exam. Now, if you have a deep level of experience in the topic, if you are already at that associate or expert level and all you're doing is wanting to take the test, maybe you can go and take a practice test right away. But if you're here to learn the topic in order to take this exam, this is my recommendation in terms of your study process. Anyways, this has been Scott. Hopefully this is helpful. If you have any questions, of course, leave them inside the course.